somebody, so you guys have asked for it, so I'm gonna do it, even though I think it's super boring. But here goes, this is all about my weight journey. So, baby, happy as Larry, chunky, kind of had a bull haircut, looked a little bit like a spider on the beach. Here's a photo, here's another photo. I don't know, I'm gonna find some photos and put them up. Um, happy as Larry will probably never feel as confident as I did as a child, which I think is possibly the saddest thing ever, that we're all our happiest when we're a baby. We should be so comfortable now. Anyway, I had a really, really great childhood, ate loads and loads of food, loved skips, um, used to have a naughty room cupboard, we've all had one. Um, but the main part of my fitness journey really started probably when I was 18, 19 and got my first boyfriend. Um, obviously I had little boyfriends before then, but this was like a serious one. Um, I wasn't particularly sure about my figure. I was not lanky, but I was very, um, well I am very tall, about five foot nine, size seven feet. Um, I was always about ten and a half stone, probably is what I'd say. Um, I had a J-Lo butt, which I used to walk tucked in so that people wouldn't see it. A flat tummy um, and not really much boobs department. Um, so I just didn't really know what my body was supposed to be doing. And I think at this period of my life, I really struggled with food. I wouldn't say it was an eating disorder, but I definitely went through the stages, which I think pretty much all girls and boys go through. Um, the one where you pretty much don't eat anything all day and then you're so hungry when you get home, you go up to your room and scoff a load of things. The second one being I would just eat lots and lots of food and then feel really bad about it. The third one would be um, probably where I just wouldn't eat particularly very much throughout the day, but what I would eat wouldn't be very good for me. So I'd go to work, I used to work at a shoe shop, and I would eat nothing all day and be on my feet all day, but then eat a load of pick and mix and then go home and probably have some crisps. So really what I was giving my body wasn't very good. Um, and I was slim, but I wasn't a healthy kind of slim. Also, living and moving in with my boyfriend at the time, um, I think as it was my first live-in relationship, I was trying to cater to him a lot, and he ate very different food to what I would. A lot more fast food, fried food, sort of party food, um, which is actually when I then realised I had a massive problem with my digestion. Um, I was always very bloated, which made me feel very uncomfortable and obviously feel larger. Um, I already felt larger than everybody else because I was so much taller and because my bones were bigger. Most of my friends were about five foot four. I just felt huge, so I used to crouch down in photos. I used to wear flat shoes in hopes of not being that tall when I went out with them because I always felt a little bit like a giant. Um, so I think, to be fair, that whole phase of me was probably quite an unconfident area where I really didn't really know what I was doing. I did join a gym, um, the same gym that I'm at now. I went there with my boyfriend at the time. Didn't really know what I was doing there, was too shy to ask a personal trainer to, to help me out. Um, kind of relied on my boyfriend at the time, who I don't think was that bothered in, in sort of getting me to change my shape, um, which was a lovely thing, um, but really I just did not know anything about my body. Moving on, we broke up. I had the single heartbreak phase where everybody loses a couple of pounds. I got scrawny and I didn't think it was very attractive. Um, I was definitely lost about nine pounds, but I just looked horrific. I had no kind of toning to me. Um, it was all very flabby and I just looked very tired. I did a lot of partying. I went to Thailand and Ibiza and again, did not look after my body. I may have had a tan, but my body was not healthy. Moving on, as you all know, I now live with um, Leon from The Lean Machines and my life has completely changed. I was already at the gym when I met him. We actually met each other at the gym. I really struggled with confidence a little bit because obviously I was a personal trainer and I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so I would go running outside um, in aims of him not seeing me. I wouldn't take part in his classes because I was far too nervous that I would make an idiot out of myself and go the wrong direction or kick someone in the face, um, which I did do several times. Being with him and seeing his passion for fitness and the way he takes care of his body, um, learning about proteins and the right sort of food and, and that your body really needs sleep and I just learned a hell of a lot from him. And during this time is when I started my YouTube channel. Now you guys with the 30 day challenges, um, your private messages, your Facebook messages, made me realize just how much I love fitness and made me decide I wanted to change it from being a hobby into a career. So I've just signed up for a six month course to take me, turn me into a personal trainer and hopefully be able to do some actual boot camps with you all. Now my outlook on my body is very different. I'm probably in the best shape I've ever been in without being vain, but I'm also probably the heaviest I've ever been. I 
found this very difficult to get to grips with and if you do too then I have done a previous video about this so once you get to a certain size that you're quite happy with just stop staring at the scales also I think when you become really healthy you start looking at your end goal which would obviously be to get the kind of figure that you want and you start looking at how you want your insides to feel I've never felt so healthy like we now really look at what we put into our body what we drink and the way we make it and we don't really have any processed foods everything we do from scratch ourselves so we know exactly what's in it and I can eat so much food I probably eat every two to three hours um, big proper meals that are just full of nutrition nutritional value and I'm always drinking throughout the day and I love the fact that I can eat so much food so the big key thing I kind of want to get across to you guys is I don't think any of us will ever be 100% happy with our bodies but you can certainly get to about a good 98% once you really understand what your body's about and I think when you understand how amazing your body actually is and you take a step back and realise what kind of figure you could actually get, not saying I just want to like this person, when you actually realise the figure you have the potential to have, you start looking at things very differently. So. I'm happy, there's still things I will always want to change, work on, improve, but I think as a woman, especially as we grow up and we go through so many different changes, um, I'm excited to see where my body may take me and I'm certainly excited to see where I'm going to go with you guys. I hope this answered some questions, I think I may have gone off on a tangent, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So if you guys could do one massive thing for me, I would like you to post below what you actually love about your body, and I mean love, as in you love your bum, your boobs, your ears, your legs. I don't want to hear any negative comments, I just want to hear all of you guys telling me what it is that you love about yourself, because I think it's really important and we can all get a little bit lost at hating the bits that we want to change. So thank you very much for watching, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers guys, bye!